Forsyth that today said much. farewell to the 103-year-old newspaper with a mock funeral, New Orleans style. Action 11's Mark Pfeiffer has the story. <laughs> Marching through the newsroom of the Courier and Times, most of the staffers wearing black commemorative t-shirts, former Times columnist Bob Hill led a procession that included a Dixieland jazz band, a wreath-draped coffin, and several hired mourners. The services included a farewell song written by Patrick Howington, sung to the tune of Goodbye My Coney Island Baby. From the newsroom, the procession made its way to the streets and the corner of 6th and Broadway, for a moment, became the French Quarter. We didn't want to go out with our faces down, so we just wanted to have some fun, uh, just dance around. It's a sad occasion, but not really. We were, we're happy about it, too. It's like a New Orleans funeral. The Gannett was behind us on this. You know, they understand what the Times has meant to this community, and. Uh, you just can't let it go off with a whimper. We want to go out with a bang. Tomorrow evening, the last Louisville Times will roll off the presses. Starting Monday, the morning paper will become the new evening paper in Louisville. It will feature slightly larger type and more sections. So, as the song says, say hello to one great newspaper and... Pfeiffer, Action 11 News. When we continue our...